this is cyber dragon today i'm going to talk about iphone versus android which was better okay iphone has a lot of uh has his own operating system which is ios and when you have an iphone or any uh apple product they have their own operating system they have their own security system then they have their own web browser which is Safari but they're very pricey they're at least like um, right now they're about $700 for the new iPhone 12 which is coming in like next year but Taiwan already has it and they can range from 700 to about thousand few thousand dollars they're very expensive it's worth is it's only worth it if you like uh, use a lot of Apple products and it can connect with your uh, iPad or Apple Mac. The functions are a little bit more uh, higher tech, so it's good for uh, someone who's uh, learning about technology. It's best they use about that phone and all those uh, features. Right now, and now they have the uh, new uh, triple camera, which is one camera you just focus one camera you zoom and one camera that enhance uh, quality pictures when you and all uh, iPhones can connect with like Apple watch and other uh, other features okay Android is like created by Google it's a simple not high tech technology, but it's basic, easy to learn, and it's, rel it's way cheaper than an iPhone. And his best time to buy is Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve, and Black Friday. Or in the uh, and also in the uh, springtime between March through May, where techno old technology go on sale. And new technology comes out when you buy an old technology just like last year's model you can see about 50 to about 200 dollars discounts or 30 to 40 percent and it's relatively cheap i've been an android user for a long time the current phone i'm using now is uh, samsung to android i'm i bought it from hsn and there's a lot of uh, phone companies you can choose from, like TrackPhone, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. Every single one has its own features, and AT&T as well. AT&T is the most expensive, Verizon's the second, T-Mobile's the third, but now T-Mobile and Sprint are combined together as a merger. So they sell, still sell their products separately, but they merge their companies so they can expand their business and track phone is relatively the lowest I ever found so far you can get about like uh, let's spend 70 to about 100 bucks you got one year you have a lot of data 1,500 for call text and 1,500 for internet it was a relatively good deal if you don't uh, use your internet call text a lot because you only only if you're like you know a business person will require to use a lot of data a regular person like an employee working for a company you may not use that much data so and you have the option to uh, turn on your Wi-Fi you can get free Wi-Fi mostly like a lot of stores so you can save on data if some areas like if you're like driving on the road or going through the mountains or a lake or near the ocean side where there's no Wi-Fi you just turn on your mobile data and it uses that and he, they like charge you very very low like okay about one minute buys you at least a lot of time and the data doesn't go down into like 0 0.01 in about 10 minutes you almost lose them. Uh, you go down just very slow. 
I'll provide some uh, videos like where you can buy like uh, cheap Android phones. Right now, you the best one is HSN. QBC and HSN are very competitive. They both sell the same phone, same everything. The only thing is the price is different. QBC sells a little bit higher, while HSN sells a little bit lower. It's best to buy it from them. They got good customer service. And they relatively have a lot of, uh, every year you can change your phone in pretty much like the latest model, but it's like last year's model. But, and most of it is like very easy to set up. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below what you think about the video, and share this video so people can make a good buying decision of whether to buy an iPhone or an Android based on what fits their criteria. Are they a busy person? Are they a business person? Or a very casual person? that doesn't use the phone that much just mostly just like call basic text use the internet but yeah hope to see you guys next time goodbye